this is a close one. It could be in the fairway. This putt's for birdie. Oh my, and that was that was just fun to watch. And that hole is going to allow him to move up in the standings. And now is the third hole tee up. And a promising looking shot here. And about 150 yards to the pin. Here's an eight iron. Well, that was unfortunate. And uh, the wind got the best of that one, I think. Just a fantastic shot out of the bunker. And now let's uh, take a look and see how things are going on the leader two under four of the day. And teeing off on this par three. Here is the pitching wedge. Oh, that was that was very close. Looking like eight feet to the cup here. And this putt is for bogey. And after that hole, one under for the day. Okay, and here is the fifth hole. And I think he will be happy with that. And about 170 yards to the pin. And here's the six iron. Very well played. And hitting this par five and two is going to set up some nice eagle opportunities here. And the eagle putt drops. And as we check the standings, he's still holding down first place after that one. And now teeing off on this par four. I 
I think he'll like that. Eleven feet to the cup. And that putt will drop for birdie. And after that one, uh, four under is the score for the day. Okay, and let's see what the seventh has in store. And he's probably not uh, happy about that shot. And I think you'll like that. And this putt is for birdie. And that was just pretty to watch. Long, long putt right into the cup. And as we check the standings, he's still in first after that one. And teeing off on this next hole. Wind could be an issue on this one. And, uh, well, I guess we're about to find out. Going with the eight iron. I think this might be a bit long. And that approach is on the green, but uh, quite, quite lengthy putt ahead. And that one will drop. And no change in the standings uh, after that hole. And now setting up for the par four. This one's looking pretty good. From 130 yards. <laughs> and he's on the green. Putter's coming out. This one's about 10 feet from the cup. That one will go for birdie. And as he finishes up the front nine, Luke, he's, he's found himself in a pretty good spot, if you ask me. Well, a great opening round can do wonders for the confidence. And we know the first round leader will take that in today too. But there's no guarantee they'll keep this great play up. They must keep their focus. Thank you, Luke. Uh, now back to the action. This one's questionable as to where it's going to end up. And about 155 yards out. Going with the 8 iron here. And this is looking a bit long, I think. And that shot will be on the green with uh, a fair amount of distance to make up to get that next putt in the hole. And oh my, what a putt that was. Very long putt right into the cup. And after that one, eight under is the score.
getting ready to tee off on this par three. And this for the birdie. And for the par. Yeah, that one's uh, right in the cup. And he's gonna stay right there where he was on the leaderboard, no change in the ranking. And now we find ourselves on the 12th. And nothing wrong with that shot. I think you'll like that. 14 feet away. For the bird. And no change for him leaderboard wise after that hole. All right, let's see what uh, happens on the 13th hole here. And this is looking fairway bound. About a hundred yards to the pin. And nothing wrong with that shot. And to save par. And this course is treating them pretty well. I'm seeing quite a few, uh, quite a few birdies on the scorecard. And that's helping this uh, round of nine under so far. And uh, I think he's going to like that. 28 feet to the cup from here. Ooh, and that one's very, very close. This one's about two feet from the cup. And he's going to stick to first place after that one. And moving on to the 15th hole. Well, this one's debatable. Could be rough, could be fairway. And this one's for birdie. And finishing the hole with a solid putt. And 10 under is the score after that hole. And now setting up on the 16th tee. And this shot's looking promising. And about 160 yards to the pin. It looks like a seven iron. And I think he is going to fly the green. That's just uh, poor luck on that approach. Just too much club. 
Oh, man. And that will drop. And he's still at the top of the leaderboard after that one. Okay, and setting up on the 17th tee. Well, I'm pretty sure this is going to land in the fairway here. Okay, about 185 yards to the pin. This one's looking good, folks. And that one is on the green with quite a bit of real estate to make up on that next putt. Oh my gracious, that was close. And this one's for par. And that one will drop. And after that hole, he will stay right where he is on the leaderboard. hole and he's taking this one through some branches and I think he's going to like that. And here's an eight iron. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, this one's about 19 feet away. And the long putt will drop. Very nice stroke on that one. And folks, at the end of this first round, he's going to find himself in first place. Not a bad place to be, Luke. Oh, it's outstanding, isn't it, John? In fact, I was hoping we could cut up all their highlights and put it on a tape for Christmas. They put on absolute glitter. Well, on behalf of John, I'm Luke. Catch you again tomorrow. Hello everyone, welcome to the FedEx and Jude Classic. I'm Luke Elvey, it's great to have your company. Alongside me is my partner in crime, John McCarthy. It's time to get our final round action underway. Thanks Luke, our next golfer on the tee had a great round yesterday, so uh, hopefully we'll get another chance to witness their skill here today. Yes, well, they're in the right position. We've seen a lot of really good quality play out of this player to be in the number one spot on the leaderboard. But like anyone who leads, they don't want to succumb to the pressure. Just keep their game focused, their mind sharp, and they should deliver the result they want. Thanks, Luke. We'll chat after nine holes, see what's happening. And that one goes in for the bird. And starting the round off with a birdie is not a bad plan. And now let's see what this second hole has in store.
This one's a toss up. Let's see where this one will land. And this one's for birdie. And a nice putt there. And after that one, two under for the day. Now let's see what this third hole has in store. And he's got to be happy with that. And from 155 yards out. You know, this one's close call. This could be in the rough. And not the greatest approach shot there. Too much club, I think. Oh, my word. And that was very nicely played. A little chip in there for Eagle. And he's sticking to the same position he was at uh, after that hole. And now setting up on this par three. Now well, that, that approach shot's not going to be on anyone's highlight reel, I don't think. Just not enough club on that one. And this to save the par. And this putt's about a two footer here. And today, currently sitting at three under par. And that means he's first overall on the leaderboard. He's got to be pleased with that. Okay, and from 150 yards out. Going with the eight iron. And that's a pretty inspiring shot just there, hitting this par five green in two definite eagle possibilities. And unfortunately, the golf gods have spoken, and the eagle is not going to happen. And after that one, he's still in first place. And now we find ourselves on the sixth full tee off. And uh, nicely done, looking like we'll have some fairway here. And pretty sure he's going to like that. And 13 feet to go here. Oh, and uh, just doesn't want to drop. And for the par. And finishing this one with a good putt. And currently sitting at four under for the day. And that means he's first overall on the leaderboard. And he's probably going to like that. Boop. 
Oh, I think you'll like that. And this one's for birdie. Finishing this hole with a solid putt. And after that one, he will stay at the top of the leaderboard. Okay, we find ourselves now in the eighth hole tee off. Going with the nine iron. And I think this shot might uh, might have a bit too much club. Well, it turns out that one's safely on. Okay, from 28 feet to the cup. Now let's take a look at the leaderboard. And after that one, five under for the day. And that also means he's in first place on the leaderboard. And let's see if he re-hits or takes the drop. He's definitely in the water, though. And from about 120 yards out. And uh, not the intended result, I'm sure, on that approach shot. Not enough club on that one. Five feet to go here. And that one will drop for bogey. And Luke, what does this gorgeous TPC property have to offer on the back nine? What are you looking forward to? Well, the par threes on the back nine here at TPC Southwind couldn't be further apart if you tried. The 11th is a short downhiller, almost an island green like the par three 17 at TPC Sawgrass. 14's the big long brute. You want to make your birdie 11 because they're hard to come by at 14. Thanks, Luke. We'll talk to you on the 18th. And I'm not quite sure where this one's going to end up. And I think he will like that. And this putt's for birdie. Folks, this is looking too good. All right, let's take a peek at the leaderboard now. Okay, and he's still in first place, ladies and gentlemen. The next hole we have before us is a par three. Let's see what happens. I'm going with the seven iron on this one. Yeah, the shot's looking pretty good. Okay, he's putting now. From here, it's about 11 feet to the cup. For the birdie. And after that one, five under par for the day. And that also means he is in first place on the leaderboard. Well, I'm not quite sure where this one's going to end up.
And I am pretty sure he's going to like that. And this for the birdie. And tapping in for par. And after that one, he's going to stay right where he was on the leaderboard. And next up is a par four, folks. And he's probably not happy with that. Pretty sure he's going to like that one. 22 feet to the cup. Ooh, and it just, just misses. This one's about two feet from the cup. And after that one, five under par for the day. And that means he's first overall on the leaderboard. Going with a pitching wedge here. Could have put a bit too much club on this one. Well, that could have been worse. That'll play. And this putts for birdie. And they're about three feet away here. And that putt will go for par. And he's still in first place after that hole. And now setting up for the next par four hole. Now I'm not sure exactly where this will end up, but it could be, uh, could be bad. Looking good. This one's about 10 feet away. And that'll drop the birdie. And uh, there's six under on the day after that hole. And that means he's first overall on the leaderboard. And next up, we have a par five hole. And that didn't uh, sound like the cleanest of contact. Oh, I'm not too sure about this one. Now, this one's still in the rough, uh, but it was hit out of some uh, really deep rough into some not so deep rough. And this putt is for birdie. Oh my goodness, that was close. And tapping in for par. And after that one, he's still managing to hold on to first place. Okay, and moving on to the 17th now. This one could be either way, folks. I'm not sure uh, if it's going to be safe or not.
and this to save par. Ooh, and it just misses. And this one's for the bogey. And after that one, currently sitting at five under for the day. And now teeing up for the final hole of the round. He's probably not too pleased with himself after that one. And this next putt is for a final round score of 65. Oh, my lambs, that was, uh, that was very close. And this putt's right around two feet. And there you have it, folks. He has done it. And he has become the FedEx St. Jude Classic champion. The victory at TPC Southwind says that they've got the complete game. This is one of those underrated courses on tour. And to become the FedEx champion, well, they'll be all shook up. Well, that's going to do it from here. I'm Luke Elby, and from John McNeil.